Hello, my beautiful bookish besties, and welcome. This is going to be an ultimate bookish vlog. So what an ultimate bookish vlog is, is we are just doing all of the reading activities and this is going to be more of like a weekend vlog for me and I'm just so excited to do this. I stole this idea from Tori um, but I'm just going to go with it because I just think it sounds so fun. I'm just like in a very spring mood. I just did new press-ons. I go back and forth between press-ons and like actually getting my nails done but these took me 10 minutes so we'll see how long they wear. I think if I get about a week out of press-ons I feel happy because then that's like six seven bucks a week to have nice nails um, the only thing is when my nails underneath get too long or if I choose ones that are too long of a length they can get like stuck on things so you kind of have to like learn to maneuver things a little bit differently but overall I really think that these are so pretty so I might go back to press-ons for now I also found this old ring that I've had since I was like a kid and it like perfectly matches this and I literally just dug that like I haven't seen where this is for months and I found it the day I did the manicure that matches it so like that's serendipitous to me. So I have a few books that I read on Kindle that I love so much I bought physically and I want to transfer my annotations from my Kindle to my physical book so I'm gonna film myself doing that and we'll see how that goes. And I also got new stickers for my Kindle so I used to have my pop socket like up here and it also used to not be like removable um, but I got the MagSafe circle and the matching like silvery circle and I put this on here you can also like get magnetic like kickstands and stuff like that but it's so much more comfortable having this a little bit lower some people put it to the side but I kind of equally switch back and forth between my hands just depending which side I'm laying on so I kept it and then I have just this really like emblem moon one and then all of these stickers I initially had like physically like stuck down and took the sticker back off but now I put in a new sticker order and I have a bunch more new stickers and I'm gonna redecorate my Kindle with those and I'm gonna um, I've double-sided tape so I'm gonna keep them stuck to the back of their like backing and then just tape them or you can even just place them and hold them down with the clear case so I'm going like full Kindle girly so I'm gonna be doing that in this video as well and then I do want to film a like sit down talking video today about like, my like spring reading list. Maybe I'll call it my spring TBR but it's not like something I strictly have to stick to. It's just books that remind me of the springtime that I haven't read yet that I want to read. And okay someone's like right outside the window. That's awkward. I'm gonna just move over here for a second until she goes away. Okay. Alright, so the book that I'm going to annotate right now is Throne in the Dark by A.K. Caggiano because the next book I want to read is Summoned uh, by the Winds and this is a half demon who um, accidentally is, he's setting out on this mission basically to like save his father and he, this girl Alma is a thief and she accidentally magically binds herself to him and it's like grumpy sunshine and it's just funny it's hilarious the tension between the two characters is so good it's slow burn there's like not any spice in here but there will be like eventual spice that sometimes that slow burn tension just makes it so worth it and it's just like a book that makes me feel like bubbly and giggly and so i'm so excited to just like transfer my annotations over so we're gonna set out on that journey and i'm just gonna be happy and then i'm gonna have more annotation i'm gonna try to read this one physically and then the key when these are on Kindle Unlimited is when you get tired of reading physically and it's on Kindle Unlimited, you can go lie in your bed and read it on your Kindle and then bring your annotations to this the next time you pick it up in the morning so you can keep reading. Even when you want to go be in the dark, it's the best of both worlds. So those are the plans. And there's also a Barnes & Noble trip that I will be going on and I'm just so excited. And maybe a haul, maybe a haul because it is the ultimate book weekend vlog.
Okay, well, I just got back from Barnes and it was a quick trip because I fucked up. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to meet Taz at Barnes. Oh, those were what I thought the plans were. Um, but when we made the plans, I was driving and I was using like CarPlay, having Siri read the text messages to me. Um, and somehow Siri missed the message where I said, let's meet at Barnes. And she said, no, let's meet at a different bookstore. So I went about my day, went to the other, the Barnes, and she was at the other bookstore. So we ended up not meeting up. It happens. Anyways, I've been annotating my book and filming that for this relaxation vlog. But now, but now, I need to take off my makeup and go take a nap before I can continue with my beautiful reading weekend. So I'll be doing that. Okay, hello. Ignore the filming equipment behind me. Um, we're having a little no makeup moment right now because I just got out of the shower and once my hair dries, oh my god, it looks so curly and nice, but the thing is it doesn't hold the curl anymore because it's too long. But anyways, once this dries, I think I'm going to film two videos. Who is she? I don't know her. Um, but anyways, I did just finish annotating Throne in the Dark and it was so like fun going back and reliving my favorite moments. This book literally has the best tension between these two characters. Like, they are constantly just, like, pining for each other, but the circumstances kind of keep them apart. So, like, I mean, like, if you just look at this illustration and see, like, him with, like, the th Ugh. He does that multiple times in the book, too, and, like, they are just everything to me. In the second book, we are picking right back up where we started. I'm having so much fun reading this physically so that I can annotate it, and I'm just... The indie series that I know that I like, I really want to try reading them physically more. So I did get two books um, that are indie that I would maybe like go back and forth between reading them on my Kindle and reading them on physically, just depending on how things are going and annotating them because I just love annotating my books. So that's where I'm at for this guy today. I got to about page 79. The text is like pretty small on the page, so this definitely is a a longer read um so like page 79 is like a significant amount but like I just love these characters the adventures like everything like all of the naming conventions and stuff are like so witty it's just like really like just funny and witty and absolutely everything like I love the romance between these two like this guy is like I'm an evil overlord and I'm just like mm, you're actually kind of nice and that's their dynamic <laughs> and I love it and he's like they constantly have this like it's not like spicy in the sense of like there hasn't been explicit scenes but like he's constantly like oh you're a good girl or like because she's like you know like not evil and he's like evil and he's like oh like I need to punish you and I'm like it's ah. literally how this book makes me feel um if you read the first book the not scene like the tying up scene that's all I'm gonna say but like kicking, screaming, like, oh, the tension, like, even if it's not, like, spicy, like, the, t the tension, the cuteness, just, like, everything about this book, the adventures, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. And it's amazing.
So, I do did not get a haul from Barnes & Noble yesterday, but I did get some packages in the mail, so we can do a haul now. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Aha, and this is the rule book by Sarah Adams. This is my pre-order. I think it's like a footballer second chance romance. Um, ever since I read Parks Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, I've been obsessed, so I picked this one up and I also have the cheat sheet which is the first book in this and you know I love my romance collection my little colorful romance book collection my loves so I always like to add to it and then in this package ah. <laughs> third book in the series I don't think I'm going to be able to like start it right away because I'm traveling like the next, or not traveling, but I just like have a lot the next few weekends and I want to like really have time to like sit down and like annotate it and enjoy it, not while I'm on the go. So I might put this off for like a little bit, but I love her and I'm so excited. Look at how the, the like covers for these are just like absolutely everything. And like, do you see that hand placement? Like my man is whipped. He's a whipped. I love him so much. Did also get this PR box which I think needs to be highlighted ah. um I'm a little mad that they put the sticker like right on the front but like the cottagecore vibes and it says your TBR pile just got sweeter um this is like a quote on the side oh my gosh I love these boxes and it says the honey witch of Innisfree can never find true love and we have this little like art print um and these are the two girls this is a sapphic romance i've heard something about bee sting orgasms so that's cool um plant me i think this is like seeds in a piece of paper we have some earl gray tea we have a little honey jar with one of these like honey thingies a bookmark i love with my bookmarks to match everything um and then this is the arc itself. Let me see. Oh, I'm so excited. I definitely want to read this. Oh, and it comes with this hind book plate. So it says, The honey witch of Innisfree can never find true love. That is her curse to bear. But when a young woman who doesn't believe in magic arrives on the island, sparks fly in this deliciously sweet debut novel of magic, hope, and love overcoming it all. And their names are Marigold and Lottie. I just, and they're sunshine and grumpy and it's sapphic and like, I just... I just think I'm gonna love it, so I definitely want to read this one soon. Potentially, it might pop up on a spring TBR video if I post that video. Potentially, it might. Another book that I just want to pop on here and mention because I wasn't vlogging when I read it is *The Rose in the Shadows* by Arcadia Rain. Me and Arcadia became friends on TikTok, and we found out we look close to each other. What happened here? Why, why did my book look so beat up? Anyways. This book is really, really good and intriguing fantasy romance. It's slow burn, has like a dragon shifters and different gods and different children of the gods, and it is so cool. We follow Fia, who like basically has no memory of what's happened to her, and she just kind of winds up on the steps of the palace, like wielding her power. Then it turns out she's the lost uh, descendant of Hyrax, the god of the dead. So a lot of court intrigue and politics and gods and powers and it's all very very cool i was instantly hooked and five stars you guys sure i'll go pick it up all right so i think the next bookish activity on the list is to redecorate my kindle so let's get started on that
is the next day. I just got home from work, but I wanted to just wrap up really quickly. So we did a lot of fun bookish stuff this weekend. Book shopping, book hauls, um, book journaling, redecorating my Kindle, annotating books. It was great. I got to page 155, so about halfway through Summon to the Wilds, and I'm just obsessed with the story. The the scene that just happened between these two characters like the tension was off the charts like they're not even doing anything and i'm like i'm like a victorian man with an ankle like i am obsessed with them i'm obsessed with them i need everyone to read the series thank you so anyways this was a really fun ultimate bookish vlog i had a lot of fun filming this please let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see from me in the future as i meander my way back to posting on booktube more consistently but i was very very happy to film this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up if you like it and let's leave um little purple heart to match this book cover if you have watched this far and have some fun reading some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one